Hey friends, Tim Shure here. It's welcome back. I'm super excited to see you again. So what's this thing called emotional freedom? Emotional freedom is basically when you wake up in the morning and you feel secure. You're actually looking forward to getting from the day instead of just getting through the day. You actually have a sense of purpose, a feeling of mission, something that you're passionate about that you're looking forward to achieving. Because you know how they say idle hands are the work of the devil? Well, so is an idle mind. If you're not purposefully, intentionally focusing your mind on achieving some kind of goal, having some kind of experience, creating some kind of emotional state, doing something that helps you to feel excited or happy or something that makes you feel like you have a sense of contribution or something that you're working towards, if you don't have that, then you're going to feel bored, depressed, unfulfilled, unhappy. And then it causes us to try to distract from those feelings and we eat and drink and do all kinds of other stuff that keeps us feeling even worse. So emotional freedom is really about taking a look at your life and saying, what is it that I really want? What is it that I really value? What is my mission? When I look back over my life, what do I want it to mean? Did I really love? Did I really matter? Did I really make a difference? Did I really go after things? Did I really challenge myself? Um, am I really trying to learn and grow? Or do I just want things to happen to me and I don't want to have to do anything for it? Because I'll tell you, if that's what you want, if you want someone to just snap your fingers and fix you and you just want to take a magic pill and be all better, it'll never work. Because even if that existed and I gave you a magic pill and you dropped all your weight, you'd just go gain it all back the next time you got stressed out or the next time you got bored or lonely or depressed because you didn't change the mental beliefs. You didn't create the new mental muscle that allows you to create sustainable results. And it's a big mistake. Most people go on diets and then they lose weight and then they gain it all back because they didn't develop the mindset and when it comes to emotional freedom so many of us are stressed out we're not sleeping well we're scared of what's happening in the world and we feel lonely and isolated so many of us feel that way and we don't know what to do to change it or our, our marriages are unhappy or our spouses have passed or our kids grew up and that was our purpose and now they're not there and we don't know what to do. Or, you know, we just feel like, you know, I, I've got a pretty good life, but I just feel like I'm stuck in certain ways. Well, that's where the emotional freedom comes in because it teaches you you know, emotional freedom is really emotional intelligence, where you learn how your mind works, how your emotions work, and how to influence yourself at that emotional level in a way that makes you feel safe, happy, inspired, confident, motivated, right? So that you're living life on your terms, so that you're using the power of your mind to create your life by design. And that's pretty remarkable. It's extraordinary. And most people, unfortunately, never have that kind of experience of how powerful they really are. Uh, I've been very lucky to witness it thousands of times because of my job, right? My job is to help ordinary people create extraordinary results. And I've been the guy to go to when people have been stuck, when they can't get themselves to change, when they don't wanna change, you know, and, and I'm able to help them create the shift and create the breakthrough. And it's because I understand how your mind works, how your heart works, how the emotions work, how the universal laws work. And so it's very easy for me to be able, people are like a Rubik's cube and you can solve it real quick. And then people start to have what they want. And these, these goals and these dreams that they've wanted for so long start to come true and become a reality. I have so many images in my head of people when we first started and they felt they wanted this, but they're so scared, they're so skeptical. They hope it works, but they don't know because they've been disappointed so many times. And then through the journey, the ups and the downs, transforming your body and transforming your life is hard work, right? If someone tells you it's super easy, they're trying to sell you something, okay? It is work, but it is good work, right? It is a journey, but the journey is what creates the new you. You know, doing the push-ups is what gives you the muscles. You can't get muscles without doing the push-ups and no one else can do your push-ups for you. Even if, now I'm not talking about just physical push-ups, I'm talking about the emotional push-ups, right? Or how we push through the challenges that we go through. And it's very easy in those times to doubt ourselves and think, I don't know if this is, if, I don't know if it's ever going to work. But that's why you get involved with people who can support you and help you. And so I have lots of um, images in my mind of people who have lost 30 pounds, 50 pounds, 80 pounds, 100 pounds, 130 pounds, 150 pounds, right? And they're dancing around fully in joy because not just because they lost the weight, but because of how they feel inside. 
In fact, a lot of people told me that it was the emotional freedom that was even better than the weight loss. And so I thought, this is amazing and it lights me up. And so I've been helping people to find their confidence and their freedom for a long time. And I've been helping people lose weight for a long time. And I thought, I'm gonna really focus on the emotional part of it because that's the part that nobody else is really focusing on. Everybody else is focusing on supplements, exercise, boot camps, and dieting, right? And those things don't really work. And so, and they don't create sustainable weight loss results. And so I thought, what does? Well, you know what does? The emotional programming, right? The emotional freedom, helping people to have a sense of mission, helping people understand how the most successful people in the world that are just crushing it and really achieving their goals, how do they think? How do they talk to themselves? How do they set their goals? How do they use the universal spiritual laws like the law of attraction or the law of reciprocity, right? right? You know, And so the law of synchronicity, how are they using these laws to create more opportunities to succeed? And how are they talking to themselves in a way that causes them to have a lifetime of motivation? And how do they um, get themselves to feel resilient? Because life's gonna challenge you and you gotta learn how to pivot. That's what my 10 year old and I do. When something's not going right, we just pivot, right? And we just start laughing and we just start pivoting, <laughs> right? And, uh, and so all these cool things. And then of course, going through and doing the other things that I talked about with you in the other couple videos, right? Where we're transforming and upgrading the beliefs that you might have that need to be upgraded. And we're changing the way that you're talking to yourself and the way that you're perceiving things. And we're getting rid of the guilt, the anger, the shame, the fear, and replacing it with feelings of security and self-love and self-acceptance and confidence. Have you been using those affirmations, by the way? Did you write down your beliefs and then say the new ones, right? Have you taken action on that? This program helps you to take action on those things if you are not. You know, you can have the best hammer and the best nail, but if you don't hit it, you know, it ain't gonna go in, the, in there, right? You have the best seeds in the world, if you don't put them in the ground, they ain't gonna grow. So if you haven't said that affirmation to yourself, or you haven't wrote down the limiting beliefs and then wrote down what you'd rather believe instead, then do it now, right? Do it now, do it now, do it now. You got this, you can totally do this. Take that first step and the next step is easier and then the next step is easier and before you know it, you've got pretty far down the road. And then if you just keep going, you will arrive at your destination. So emotional freedom is about having a sense of purpose, having the right beliefs, having the right emotional programming to help you to succeed and be able to pivot, right? And be resourceful and have grit and, and resiliency and all that good stuff. And then also have the mindset and the attitude of those who are out there already making things happen. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Let's use what's already working. And that's the combination that um, approach that I use so that you have a balance of emotional programming, strategy, tactics, and support. And when you have that combination, we can accomplish anything. My clients have accomplished everything you can possibly think of, right? And so it's amazing what we can accomplish together just by having this right mindset. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna share something with you that I want you to really practice. Um, I'm gonna share a really cool nugget of information with you, and then I'm gonna explain our Path to Emotional Freedom live six-week coaching experience because it's coming up quick, and I've got a few spots left, and I want you to be in one of them because it will transform your life. I promise it, I guarantee it. You will walk away going, that was an incredible experience. The only thing that happens is that people want more, <laughs> okay? What else can I do? And so it's really amazing, and everybody should have this experience, and you're watching this video, so perhaps this is the time for you. Okay, so in the meantime, I want you to make sure that you continue to play with those beliefs and write down what you are afraid of and what you wanna believe instead and say that. If you haven't done it, here's your second chance. Or say that affirmation, no matter what I'm going through, I love and accept myself, I am safe, I am okay, and practice those things. And then think about also adding something today is what is your mission about? What is your purpose about? What's your life statement, right? How do you want people to remember you? You know, what do you want them to say on your tombstone or in your, you know, was that, is the epitaph, is that what it's called? You know, I forget what it's called, but they put that little story in the paper about you, right? And so what do you want it to say? So you've got a lot of life to live here and it's important that we start living it at a higher level. And, uh, and so this is gonna be a way to catapult you into a happier, healthier, more fabulous way of being. So I'll see you in the next video. You work on this stuff now so that um, the next time I see you, 
in the next video, you'll be able to actually say, hey, you know what, I thought about it, and this is what I want my life to be about. This is kind of my mission. This is what's important to me, and this is what I want to start doing from now on, and that will be amazing. So I'll see you in the next video. Work on this stuff now, and make today a sure success.